everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I am so pumped because everyone loves Cyberry. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a bit of anxiety, probably a lot of anxiety actually over Cyberry because I've been working on it for the last four-ish months now, I think. I started it in July and closer to the end, closer to launch day, I was getting really stressed, having to redo a lot of things, and yeah, I was just super nervous that it wasn't going to resonate with really anyone, and I'm glad that is not the case at all. Honestly, just so blown away by your response, so thank you so, so much. So welcome to another planning session for Siberi. I have a quite a bit of things that I want to cover that have either come up or have been requested that you would love to see for kind of our planning sessions in Cyberry. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment them and I'll try to get to them while I'm in this session. And yeah, I'm, I'm curious if you're going with the light mode or dark mode for Siberi. I have been seeing a lot of light mode, but those who have the dark mode have really been going all out with their spreads and uh, making use of that high contrast with really awesome colors. So really awesome to see both light mode and dark mode, but just curious. All right, so hopping over into Siberi. So mine um, definitely doesn't look as pretty as some other people's spreads that I've seen. I'll try to throw up uh, pictures and examples of some filled out templates a little bit later in this video so you can get an idea of what other people are doing with the pages in Cyberry. There's just so many creative and very functional people out there when it comes to working in Cyberry. So mine's been kind of a mess because um, I've had quite a bit of emails and just admin related work. I have two meetings this week and one got pushed back and so my Siberia kind of looks like a mess because I haven't had as much playtime with it. But all right, so the number one question as far as kind of working in Siberia for those who went ahead and purchased is what to do about the login and log out pages. So I wanted to talk a little bit about those and my reason for including them. So the log in log out buttons over here are in the top left top left hand corner and if you've used any computer or device then these icons will look familiar to you. This is the log in button. As you can see when I click these pages it uncollapses or kind of expands the log in and log out buttons kind of like on a computer and we have the log out button here. So my purpose for including a login and log out button in Siberi is because in my own kind of planning style, I have something called check in and check out list, which roughly translates to log in and log out since Siberi was designed to look and function kind of like an app, even though it is a digital planner. And my check in and check out list are basically things that I just kind of run through. A lot of it's mental, but I do have it documented in my notion dashboards. Um, but it's just kind of a list that I run through in my head of things that I should do the second I wake up or the second that I start my day. Just kind of a running list or basically kind of like a routine to kind of get you going in your workflow. Same thing with a log out list, kind of things that I do to shut down, turn off work, and you can apply this to like a morning and evening routine. You could do this as a start up and start down routine when it comes to work and stuff. So I think we all kind of have our own like mental schedules of things that we do whenever we start to begin work or end work because I don't normally just jump right into it. There's a little bit of preparation involved, making sure that everything is in front of me that I'll need while I'm in my work session, preparing a drink, a snack, just things like that that I do before I actually just jump into work. So same thing with morning and evening routines. We don't normally just hop out of bed first thing and just go to work. Like we put on our clothes, brush our teeth, you know, whatever. So that's kind of the purpose of the log in and log out buttons of Cyberry. Just things that you might want to do even while, before you like really start planning in Cyberry. So maybe there's some things, habits or things that you want to check off before you start planning your week, your month, your day. Of course, however, if you don't think you'll use 
the login and log out feature, that's still okay because now you have two linked buttons in Cyberry that you can convert into your own templates. So maybe you wanna have a secondary goal setting page. You can turn the login page as a goal setting page, paste templates on top of it. There's just a lot that you can do with these two pages. And I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna set up both of them today. They're gonna be rough setups though, because I'm still trying to decide what I want to do myself for these login logout pages. I don't know if I want to copy over my check-in and check-out list from Notion or how I wanna set these up, 100%. But I know I have a rough idea. So I wanted to give you a few more ideas of things that you can do with your login and log out pages. And I've created a Pinterest board of things that might inspire you for creating these two pages for yourselves. And I'll be sure to have that linked in like the caption of this planning session as well as in the links of this replay if you're watching the replay. So as usual with these planning sessions, I will have the replay available here in the group. So if you're not watching live, you can still watch this. And um, you can also watch it on the live sessions page with the Cyberry community pages, which you can access the links for in your Cyberry planner. And I'll have it available on YouTube for other people to watch and get ideas, even if they don't have Cyberry or maybe they don't have um, Facebook and they don't want to use the live session pages or something, you know, they can still tune in there or bring these own ideas to maybe their paper planner or their own planning setup. So I'll be sure to share the link for the Pinterest board, but a few ideas are having a gratitude page. You could have a journaling, like a 30 day journaling challenge. You could have a 30 day planning challenge there. You can have like, your manifestations there, your mantras there. You could create a vision board. You can create positivity notes. So one of the ideas that I saw on Pinterest were creating kind of like little sticky notes with positive affirmations, which is a great way to do that. And I do have plenty of different digital sticker notes that you can use to kind of copy over. So here are examples of this and I'll link everything I'm using below if you want to look at these for yourself. But you can create kind of like your own collage here of different affirmations or just notes for yourself and that would be really cute. So that's just one way that you could go about doing a log in or log out pages for that. So I thought that was really interesting. You can also document kind of your own self care rituals here. So if you're logging out for the day, that would be a really great place to kind of document your self care ritual. There are a things you can control, things you love page. So you can kind of create kind of like a mind map. Here you could do something like, let's delete this. Things I love or something. So this is gonna look really messy, just so I can illustrate this point. Things I love, and then kind of branch it out from there. Add pictures, beautiful fonts, text, just so much you could do with that. And yeah. Oh, you could also do like a bucket list page or like it's already it's already almost 2022. So you could do like a 23 before 2023 page. There's just a lot that you can get with out of these like log in and log out pages and just spending five minutes on Pinterest. I got so many ideas for these two pages. One of the ideas I got was kind of like a manifestations or an affirmations page. And so I already like went ahead and I did this in Procreate just because it's so much easier to draw and create really nice things in Procreate than you can like draw and do stuff in GoodNotes. So I did that off camera because I didn't want the whole video to just be me creating this mantra page. But if you're interested in a tutorial like that, I'm happy to do one. But I went ahead and created this page here of just different affirmations. And I'm just going to paste this over here on this side for my login page. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So it's covering the dot grid here. And this was just a really simple thing that I did in Procreate. I got a little more decorative with it, but you can make this as simple as you wanted. All right, so I'm actually just going to lasso and copy that over into my logout page. But I might do something different for my logout page, maybe a, um, I don't know, maybe a 
kind of like level 10 life. So if you're familiar with like traditional bullet journaling templates, level 10 life is where you like assess the different levels of your life, relationships, spirituality, health, fitness, you know, whatever, and kind of create goals for yourself to achieve level 10 or hopefully higher levels in each of those categories. So that would be another great way to do the login and logout pages. Vision boards are also super popular. I'm personally not a fan of vision boards. I think they look really cluttered and I don't know, I just don't really like the look of them. So I really liked creating this kind of like mantras page. And so I have that here in my login and logout pages. And again, I just did that in Procreate. So for my Notion check-in and check-out list, just to kind of demonstrate what I mean, I'm just going to write in my check-out list. So let's pull up that to the side. I'm just pulling up my Notion list to the side. All right, so for my log out routine, I could, so my main categories for my checkout list is growth, update, tidy, and prepare. So for growth, I'm just gonna have these out to the side here. I'll have mark off habits. So at the end of every day, I wanna make sure I've marked off my habits for the day. So I don't mark off habits when I do them, I just kind of do like a roundup at the end of the day. So we'll have mark off habits. Here, I also have an update my when did I last table. So if you haven't watched my Notion video, my when did I last table was essentially a, basically a database of dates of things that I last did things. So like when I last did my oil change, when I last stripped the couch, when I last cleaned like the washer drum, just like things like that, that you don't do on a daily or even monthly basis sometimes. And it's just nice to have that documented so I know. When did I last deep clean the fridge? Things like that. So update my when did I last list. I don't have something like that in my digital planner just because that's not something I'm accessing every day. It's just something that I'm kind of glancing at. So it's really helpful to have things that I just kind of glance at in my notion and things that I like write every day, my tasks and just daily things that I'm really working with in my digital planner. So I've gotten questions before on how I manage notion and digital planners and Notion is my knowledge database. It's where I just kind of throw things um, so I can have for later. It's not something I access every single day. All right, and then I have update my money map or just my transactions really. So I just call it my money map for some reason. So I have update that if I made any purchases that day. For tidy, I have studio space reset. So just reset the space, put everything away. So it's easy to film or work in here tomorrow. And for my prepare category, this is where I make sure that everything is ready for tomorrow. And that normally looks like plugging in all my devices. So devices plugged in and charging. And then let's see, lights turned off. Oh wait. and then camera batteries charging. So those are just a few things from my checkout list that I would put on something like this in my digital planner. Again, because these are things I'm just kind of running through every day at the end of a work day. Backlog tasks are basically things that you intended to get done that day, but you're having to push to the next day. So that's kind of what I meant by that. But of course you could cover up these sections here or add in your own templates. There are tons of freebies already available that people have been uploading to the Siberia library and you can download those and make use of those as well to cover up parts of templates that you're not going to use um, if that's the case for you. But there's a lot of things that you can do with both the login and logout pages and I just wanted to demonstrate some of that. So personally for me, I really like this mantras page here and um, kind of going in and really nailing down my check-in and check-out list that I want to add to my digital planner. So those are just some ways that you can customize and really use these login and logout pages. 
All right, so I'm actually gonna hop over into my notes pages for November because I actually wrote down some things that I wanted to cover in the planning session. So we did our different ideas for a log in and log out. Next, I wanna cover how to white out and make changes in your digital planner. So one of the popular questions I got for this was for the vertical weekly template in Cyberry. So as you, as you can see, it runs from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. There are some people who are up earlier than 5 p.m. Very sorry for those people. And then there are some people who are up later than 9 p.m., which is kind of my type of person. Always up late. Um, but that's not something I normally write down in my um, calendar. Like usually after five, that's like me time. Maybe I'll do some work here and there usually, but I don't normally write down that I like play and procreate from 11 p.m. to midnight. But if you're the type of person who works night shift and stuff like that, it's helpful to have a different numbered vertical weekly. So there is um, a freebie up in the Cyberry library where somebody made kind of their own adaptation of the vertical weekly, which you can check out and download to see if that works for you. But I also wanted to share how you can create these easy like whiteout changes almost for your digital planner. So for instance, let's say for Monday through Friday, you work night shift from midnight to 5 a.m. or something like that. So I'm just, I'm gonna actually demonstrate this on a clean weekly. Let me, let me hop to a queen, like queen, Wow, that's a tongue twister. Clean weekly. Okay, so now on this page, so I'm actually just going to grab a white pen color here in good notes and let's just change up Thursday. So I need it to extend past 9 a.m. or 9 p.m., sorry. What I can do is actually color over these um, hours here and write in my own. Or maybe you don't even want the hours at all. You could do that here. So I'm just covering it up by writing on it. You will want to be careful though that whenever you're using your lasso tool and you're moving your handwriting, your font or whatever, you might accidentally pick up these whiteouts as well. But this is kind of like paper planning. You're just literally whiting out parts of the template here. Okay, so now it looks like there are no hours for this weekly template. And I have the font name and download leaks already available in the Cyberry library, but it is a free system font created by um, a typography designer and you can download it from Google or his actual GitHub. But it is called Enter, so I'm gonna hop over there. Enter is the cousin to San Francisco, which is the Apple font. So that's my reason for choosing Enter specifically. So let's say we want to start the day from, um, let's go with eight. And then what I can do is just lasso and resize this down. And we'll have it start at eight so we can fit in more kind of nightly hours. So I'm actually going to select my lasso tool and turn off handwriting. That way when I copy, I'm only copying the text and not the whiteout part accidentally. So now I can just go in and do nine. Copy, paste, and then do 10. And then you'll just repeat that process over and over. And you really only have to go through that once and then you could just lasso all of this, copy and paste over onto all of that for the weekly and then once you have that weekly and set you can copy and paste that on every single weekly so you're saving time once you do it the one time so that's a way that you can white out and make amendments to the vertical hour weekly if you need to cyberi was designed to be a clean and minimal interface so it's easy to make these sort of changes without having fancy fonts or fancy colors. I literally just used Enter, which is a free download, as well as like the default grays here within GoodNotes. So there are, for most systems, a default gray, a default black, a default white, and those are what I use to design Cyberry. That way it's just so easy. You can just use the default grays that they have or the default blacks. And 
that's how you would go in and make those sort of whiteout changes or amendments. And you can do that with any anything in this digital planner in Cyberry for dark mode or light mode. So that is how you make those changes. I wanted to bring that up just because I know I had a few questions about how they should use the vertical weekly if they want to use the vertical weekly, but have different hours than those listed. All right, so now I wanted to cover a few things about time blocking and using the text tool. So if we hop back over into my weekly, my vertical weekly for this, you can see I did a little bit of time blocking and I had some questions on how I did this, if they were stickers, where could you buy these stickers? And I'm actually just using the tools in the GoodNotes 5 app. So let's hop back over into a clean week. So just a random vertical weekly. I also encourage you to watch my GoodNotes walkthrough video. I literally point at every single tool and function in GoodNotes and show you what it does and how you can use it. Mine, give or take a few updates because that video um, was a little bit earlier than Elements and just a few other things, but basic tools are there. All right, so for creating that time blocking thing here, why am I still getting notifications? So for creating the time blocking thing, we have our shape tool here. If I click the shape tool, you'll want to make sure that fill color is selected. So that is how I'm getting this kind of like dark outline, transparent look. So good notes fills the colors for you. Hopping back over, maybe you should turn this one. Do not disturb. I don't know why I'm getting notifications for work. All right. So back over into our vertical weekly here. Um, so making sure that I am on the shape tool here, making sure that fill color is selected, and then you can just select any color you want. I have some colors here saved. And then what I can do is just go in and make my shape or a rough outline of the shape really. And then as you can see, I kind of did it off center of these grid lines. And rather than redrawing those boxes, all you have to do is tap and you'll get these little dots pop up so you can actually change the size and ratio of the shape that you did. So for this box, I can have it perfectly lined up with the grid lines in Cyberry. And then there is my block. And then I just repeat for other time blocking reasons, maybe. So for red, I normally use red for filming. So I can just go in and do my time blocking. So that's one way that you can do time blocking. Another way that you can do time blocking is with the included stickers that you receive with Cyberry. So I'm going to use my elements here. I already have them all up in my elements. If you're curious on the fastest way to get your Cyberry stickers in an elements collection, if you want to use them for, if you want to use them in an elements collection, I have a tutorial on that included on the tutorials page, but I'll also link that in the captions of this video so you can easily access it. But another way you can time block is with the stickers that were included. So we have different colors of these kind of rounded rectangles that you can use and they're available in a ton of different sizes. So here are just a few options for the time blocking here as well. Now these are stickers so you won't be able to adjust the exact like ratio and proportions of these like you can whenever you draw the squares, but um, that's just one way you can do it. I mean, technically you can, so let me show you. If I have my picture tool selected and I select one of them, I can change it this way, but you might lose some of the rounded edgeness um, since it's not uh, uniform this way. But that's one way that you can go in and edit those stickers to the ratios that you want. So again, that's just some ways that you can kind of work with the stickers that were included with Cyberry. But of course, there are so many wonderful uploads of freebie stickers and free downloads now in the Cyberry library and something that I'm trying to update as often as I can uh, whenever we get submissions. All right, another thing that I wanted to share in this planning session is creating a shortcut for Cyberry on your iPad home screen. So I already have a mini tutorial up of this, but I also wanted to share it in this planning session. So I'm just going to have that up for you so you can see how to create a shortcut of Cyberry on your iPad and make it seem more like an app. There were also a few tutorials um, 
kind of around on Instagram and I think within the Facebook group from some affiliates and some cyber users on how they're creating their shortcuts. So if you're interested in checking those out or if you've already seen them, great. So I have Cyberry open here and again, Cyberry is designed to look like an app but is actually a digital planner. However, there is a way to add Cyberry to the home screen of your iPad so it looks more like an app. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through that. So I have Cyberry open here on my iPad. The app we're actually going to use is called Shortcuts and it's already native to your iPad. So the Shortcuts icon looks like this right here. I'm just going to select that and my shortcuts kind of look like this. I already have a bunch of shortcuts already created, but you'll hit this plus icon right here. What I'm going to do is use the search bar here and just search the word open and I'm going to select open app. So shortcuts are basically scripts that tell our iPad to do certain things and you can create very elaborate scripts to run on your iPad to open at certain locations, certain times, ask you certain questions, import, export certain information. There's just so much you can do with shortcuts. The easiest shortcuts we can use are just opening apps, however. So I'm just going to select open app and I'm going to tell it to open GoodNotes. So I have two GoodNotes apps on my iPad. You should only have one. I have GoodNotes 4 and GoodNotes 5, which is the newest one. GoodNotes 4 is a discontinued app that I haven't yet deleted. So I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting GoodNotes 5, the newer app here. Next, I'm going to go back to my search bar and look up GoodNotes. If I select GoodNotes, you'll actually see my most recently opened documents within GoodNotes. So if Cyberry isn't one of your most recently opened files on GoodNotes, you'll want to head back to GoodNotes and make sure that you have opened it. So these are some things that I recently opened in GoodNotes and while I want to tell the shortcut to open GoodNotes, it'll normally open the last thing I, I had open in the app. But I want to tell it to always open up this specific file in this app. So this is the reason for this step. I wanted to open up my Cyberry Planner, so I'm going to select this and you'll see it created a string. So now the string for our shortcut is to open the app GoodNotes. Then we need to get grab a certain file within the GoodNotes app, which is our 2021 Cyberry. So this is just the sample version. You can also create the same shortcut to open the 2022 dated version of Cyberry as well. If I come over here into details here, we have more information about what we can do with this. So if you update your Mac to Mac OS Monterey, which allows us to use the same shortcuts on our iPad as our computers, you can also get GoodNotes 5, the app on your computer as well. And so you can use that same shortcut on your MacBook if you update to the newest software update. So that's what this means here when it has the Mac feature. We can also show this on our Apple Watch, but GoodNotes isn't available on our Apple Watch, so I wouldn't recommend selecting that. Here's where we can add it to our home screen, and we'll get to that step in a second, but there's just one other thing that I wanted to bring up, and that's under privacy. So typically this will be toggled on, but it's good to check to make sure that it is. So you wanna make sure that GoodNotes has permission to access the file that you are trying to locate within GoodNotes. Back over to details, this is where we can add it to our home screen. This glyph and button up here allows us to name the shortcut itself. With the add to home screen button, we'll actually be able to customize what the app is called as well as the app icon. I'm just going to name this Cyberry Planner as the shortcut name. When I add it to my home screen, I'm actually just going to change this to Cyberry. And I think I'll also go with the cherries. And then here's where we can change our app icon. So if I select our icon here, we can take a photo, choose a photo, or choose a file. So what's great about the Cyberry library is that I actually have uploaded icons for Cyberry. So I've uploaded light mode and dark mode icons. So I'm just gonna hop back over to GoodNotes so I can show you where that is. So under the home button and under the rewards button are places where you can access the Cyberry library. I'm just going to go to the home button here and then select visit the Cyberry library and then hit yes. It's going to pull up the library which is password protected. The password is under your rewards button. 
All right, with the password now in, here is our list for the Cyberry Library downloads. And if we look here, here is our Cyberry icon that I have uploaded, and this is where you can download light mode or dark mode. I am currently working with the light mode version of Cyberry, so I'm just going to select download the light mode icon. And what I'm going to do is just long press on this and hit add to photos. Now I'm going to swipe back over to my shortcuts here and we'll hit add to home screen again. So I can type this information back in and let's get our cherries again here and then tap our icon or our glyph here. Then I'm going to select choose a photo and then just select the Cyberry icon. Then I'll select use and as you can see it added our berry cherries icon here for the shortcut. Then I can select add. Now we have our Cyberry app icon on the screen and it looks and functions more like an app. So if I just click this, it's going to open up Cyberry. Here is where we have our privacy window. You should only get this one or two times just to verify that this is actually information that you want to share with GoodNotes. You'll select allow. Now I can hop back in and start planning whatever it is I need to plan in my Cyberry Planner. And it's just a great way to be able to access your Cyberry Planner like an app from your iPad home screen. All right, so now hopping back over into my notes section, just so I can make sure I'm hitting all of our points for this planning session, um, kind of planning out the planning session. Um, now I wanted to show you some examples of some filled out templates. If you want me to be able to see your Cyberry spreads, if you're filling them out, no matter the spread, I'm happy to take a look and try and share on Instagram. You can tag me at K Digital Studio. I'm sharing what I can and what I see to my stories, um, just to give other people some ideas. There is a Cyberry highlight on my Instagram profile. You can click through that to see kind of the planning and inspiration as well as launch day and some examples of templates being filled out and how people are using their Cyberry. But um, you can also use the hashtag share your Cyberry and I'll be able to find spreads that way even if you do forget to tag me. So if you hashtag share your Cyberry or hashtag Cyberry, I'll also be able to find your spreads that way. Another thing that I want to do with the community pages is those who have tagged me or used those hashtags to also, to also share pictures of those in the community pages as well so you can get even more inspiration. That way you're not just seeing my spreads because there's just so many creative people out there and I want you to be able to see as many examples of these templates as you can. There's just so many ways that you can go about it and maybe through seeing other, whoops, and maybe seeing uh, other examples of how templates are filled out, you'll get some ideas and kind of stumble upon like your own perfect planning system for tackling daily pages or weekly pages or monthly pages or any of the included templates in Cyberry. So I'm just going to throw up some examples of things that I've been tagged in or have seen on the social medias um, of some templates for Cyberry. All right, and the last thing that I wanted to chat with you all about in this planning session were sticker requests and just general requests for Cyberry. So uh, I see a lot of wonderful spreads out there, and now that you've had a chance to plan and work a little bit in Cyberry, if there are any requests you have for stickers, maybe some more functional, minimal stickers that you are just really trying to look for or you're after, do let me know in the comments. I'll be able to see your request and um, and I would love to um, be able to see what uh, it still needs to be created for you or something that would make things easier for planning in Cyberry. So whether stickers or habit tracking things to kind of match the aesthetic of Cyberry, do let me know if you have any of those requests. 
because now that Cyberry is out in the wild, I can focus on creating different sticker and template packs to enhance the experience of Cyberry or any digital planner <laughs> if you're kind of planner hopping. But a lot of you have told me that Cyberry is your planner piece <clears throat> and I want it I want to continue to have it be your planner piece over the course of um, the last little bit of 2021 and then as we carry into 2022. Sorry about my throat. Um, and then as we carry into 2022. So if there are specific stickers that you're looking for, specific templates that you're after that would enhance that experience and continue promoting this planner piece that you're after, then do let me know and I will be sure to surf through the comments and make sure that I am seeing them all and documenting those in Sideberry. So that is all that I had for this planning session. I'll try to hop in the comments for a bit and chat with you as well as um, copy down your request for stickers and templates and just kind of generally interact with you. Um, but I hoped seeing how you can create these different login and logout pages is really helpful for Cyberry and just ways that you can take it a different way entirely. Um, Cyberry is very minimal and it's easy on the eyes and just super easy to customize. There's no need to feel like you have to fit any certain mold within Cyberry, which has been super important for me whenever I was creating it. I'm glad that it's resonating and sticking with you all. So it means a lot and I'm glad that Cyberry is serving its purpose, its true purpose, which is planning so you can do all of the fun stuff yourself. So, um, as well as widening out and making any necessary changes to make it truly yours because that's what it is. Um, I hope the time blocking thing was also helpful. I had so many questions on um, launch day and the day or so after of how to create these um, time blocks. So I'm, I'm hoping that was also helpful to have for good notes, yes, yeah. Okay, so that's all that I'll have for this session and I'll be sure to post in the group and on socials whenever there will be another one, hopefully weekly, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, so I hope this session was helpful. And yeah, if you have any requests for any other sessions, do let me know. Most of them will probably kind of be plan with me style or, you know, maybe um, kind of a roundup of some beautiful templates and stuff that I've seen. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Hop in the comments for a bit and chat with you all and yeah.